Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. I will post the random intro video of this, even though I stopped in the middle of it. Okay, remember this rough draft that I made? Well, I made two of them, added more slides, and let's see what's new. So I'm going to go through them. I won't read because it's already been done. So slide two, slide three, four, five, picture definition of spilled, recap. You thought I was new? No. I mean you thought I was done. Nope. New information. This blog post has been written way back in 2018. My first blog post ever was this one. Now, a year later, about, I converted this blog post into a PowerPoint presentation. In the next slides, they'll these are the the following slides will be the new information I have discovered. They tie into the spiritual realm. What does it mean to be thyself? Core aspects of oneself, your likes, your dislikes, morals, what do you believe in? All of these points towards defining yourself, your path in other words, what makes you, you. Questions to ask. Why do I follow this religion or religions? Why do you follow what you follow, in other words? The way or ways why do I believe in this pantheon or specific god or gods? If you do not follow the whole pantheon, you can pick and choose which god or gods from other sources. Do I have spirit guides and if so, what are they saying to me? Etc. Answers. This is my answers to the question, what defines me? What makes my soul mine? What makes me me? A deep look at the mind, psyche, the paths I follow. This leads to my energy being on 5D and not 3D. I am not defined by physical means, 3D means. The human ways I do not follow. I follow the mystical and the out of the box thinking and so forth. I always felt I came from another place, another star system, another planet, all together. This place being another society and world. A place of divinity and purity, unshaped by greed and other material things. The books that helped me become who I am today as a light worker being on 5D. It all started with reading the lost book of Enki followed by Aleister Crowley books, meaning there's only a certain series that I read, the core books of Thelema, which includes the Book of the Law and Magic, no, I didn't really read that one, but that's not a core book, but it kind of helped. The book that is not a core religion book on Thelema is called Magic Without T. 
details. I suggest look up uh, Dilemma Magic Books by Alistair Crowley to see the complete list of books that I read. They helped me on my path even though I now do not include them because I found out that they had demonic influences and I surpassed that darkness. The Emerald Tablets of Thoth also greatly helped me, including the 12 laws of the universe uh, corresponding to the one that comes to mind greatly or automatically is the law of attraction and those other laws. You can look that up. Uh, it links back to Thoth and back to Hermes. I think it's Hermetic laws, if I am pronouncing that correctly, which I am probably not. The other information is various spells, blog websites that came from Google searches by chakras, auras, uh, Facebook links uh, from Facebook pages that I followed, which came from uh, photo messages. Some, I know I found this one website, but it no longer existed. The other website that I read, it uh, changed ownership and they went through a whole change of things, took out pages, fixed information, added more information, changed information, so, but yeah, that one might still be around, I don't know. Chakra info and aura info websites, uh, videos on YouTube also helped, and if they are still around, I know two YouTubers that I still follow, they still post, um, Sometimes this one person changed, changed subjects and I kind of don't follow what they are posting currently. However, they'll post videos on certain topics did help. However, currently I am not interested in what they are currently sharing, uh, if that makes sense. So there's like three YouTubers channels that I kind of watch off and on, depending on if I am interested in this video topic that they posted. However, I am staying away from Arctean Council and other articles from it. However, that did help in the beginning. Now I see the demonic influence of that. So I no longer follow Arctic Council stuff. Uh, reasoning is, since it's hard for me to give a straight answer for defining spiritualism, spiritual soul, I gave examples of how I define myself. I gave hints at what opened my eyes, and so forth. If you are not on 4D, it will be very hard for you to understand where I am coming from. This is one of these times when if you can relate or can see it as well, then it makes sense to you. People have also helped me on my journey, even though they are no longer in my life right now. They walked out. Remember, um, right. Hidden spirits, hidden spirit messages are out there. You just have to become aware of them. They can come up in TV, mainly anime, I believe, from what I've seen. Anime, certain 
classic rock and roll music. It's all throughout classic rock and roll. If you know the singers, uh, bands, uh, the one that I keep noticing is from The Doors. Sp hidden spirit messages in the songs, uh, poems from the lead singer, etc. You just have to become a whale and everything will pop up and you will see it. Remembering your past lives can greatly boost your understanding of what you are, who you are, where you came from, etc. Your soul is to remember your other lives. What if you were a god or other great entity? Were you a shaman at one point? You have to start to wonder. Some will know, others will not. It is very hard to get those answers. What dimension did you come from? Upper or middle dimension? dimension or were you always on earth? To know spirit is to know your soul. To reach enlightenment is to know who and what exactly you are in your first life. To know every little thing from that world you came from. Reach enlightenment is to know your soul deeply. To reach enlightenment, do this. To be spiritual is to undo the human conditioning you were brought into. Raise your self-awareness and raise your consciousness. Out with the 3D thinking and dive into the rabbit hole of 4D in 5D dimension and onward. This journey of mine has taken me years to get where I stand today. I always questioned everything. Actions speak louder than words. I never fit in with my peers. I stumbled across chakras, spells, and spirit guides. From them, I researched a ton and went after blogs, books, videos, and whatever else I could find on the net about these spiritual topics. Some people pointed me in the right direction, but they never stayed in my life permanently. Then one day, information just started to pour into me from my higher self. Sir, I still find spilled memes on the net that helped me. Nowadays, I no longer need to look at them. I just live 5D. Do I consider myself mastered? I am still learning. For the most part, I do consider myself a master of some degree. In other areas, I am still a beginner or an intermediate. I can spot a stable person. I don't mix with the human affairs. I am out of the matrix. I know what I am. I go with the flow. Even these topics are on the journey of enlightenment. May my many examples help you on your journey of self-discovery. And that is the last slide.